first started, I, I figured, you know, there was definitely something, something going on because I'd get in the ring and like that, they would just be like, I had nothing. I just had nothing, I had no strength. I had no gas, I, had, I just had nothing in me, man, nothing. But uh, being a competitor that I am, I didn't, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna stop. I wanted to keep going. And then um, as time went on and on, it just became too much. And uh, I finally had to get checked out. And then when they told me my diagnosis, what was wrong with me, I was like, damn, uh, you know, stuff could've went real, real bad for me, real, real fast. But lucky enough, I was able to get the, the help I needed then. And um, now I'm back on track to come back and been working hard and, and uh, so I can get back in, into the ring and do my thing like I always have been able to. When I was going through treatment, it was every day I wake up 6.30 in the morning, head over to the hospital, the cancer center, and for my daily uh, treatments of uh, chemotherapy, I'll get that done, and then they check me, do my blood work, and if I need blood transfusions, I got blood transfusions, and uh, took care of that. So I'd be there four, five, six, seven hours, just sitting in the chair uh, every single day. Then I'd get a few weeks off, then have to go back every single day again, just keep getting the chemo done. No, but that, that never made me sick or nothing, though. No. I never got sick doing any chemo, I never got sick doing any of the radiation, nothing. I wouldn't let it get, get me sick. There was no way I was ever gonna let that thing even, uh, you know, think it could affect me in any sort of way. There was just no way. I wasn't gonna let it beat me. I wasn't gonna let it know it was affecting me. So that helped out a lot. Uh, having that kind of mindset and mentality that I'm not gonna let it like affect me in any sort of way. But yeah, that, that, that was rough, that, those times right there. I just lost a lot of weight. I dropped down to 100, 155 pounds. 155 pounds, drop goes 215, 220. I was squatting over 500 pounds. I lift, deadlift, I was sick, you know, doing all kinds of sick shit all the time. But now 155, I couldn't even lift the bar when I started again. When I started lifting weights again, I couldn't even lift the bar, the bar. That was only six months ago, five months ago. Now look where I am, yeah. But, you know, people got excuses though, you know. So, but yeah, I feel good now though.